So you want to get into web development? Awesome. Welcome to the jungle. You'll find 50,000 YouTube videos, 200 boot camps, and roughly 17 million people telling you why their personal tech stack is the one true path. It's like walking into a gym for the first time and everyone's yelling at you about macros, creatine, and doing it wrong before you even touch a dumbbell. But don't worry. We're going to cut through the chaos and actually lay out a simple, doable way to get started in web dev that doesn't involve losing your sanity in tutorial purgatory. Oh, and before we start the video, I got some good news for you code heads. I made a Discord server where we can all hang out, share memes, and help each other. So hurry up, join using the link in the description or by scanning this QR code. All right, back to the video. Here's the thing, web development isn't hard because the concepts are impossible. It's hard because the internet keeps screaming new frameworks at you before you even learn what a div is. One minute you are learning HTML and CSS. The next, someone on Reddit says you need to master Next.js, Tailwind, Supabase, GraphQL, and 11 other acronyms before you're even employable. And all you wanted was to build a portfolio site. It's information overload with a side of burnout. So let's slow down and rebuild this path properly. First, breathe. The core of web development is actually kind of old school. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That's your foundation. That's your training arc. You don't need to jump into React or Vue or anything fancy right away. Just build. Make a to-do list. A calculator. A weird little personal homepage that looks like it was made in 2004. It'll be ugly. That's good. Ugly means you made it yourself. That's how every real dev starts. Once you've written enough JavaScript to hate it slightly, you're on the right track. After that, pick one modern framework. Don't pick five. Pick one. React is the most common, so you can start there. Learn how components work, how state works, and how to make your app actually show something on screen that isn't just a hello world. Combine that with CSS basics. Yes, even if it makes you cry. And start styling your site to look less like a Craigslist page. Once that clicks, start deploying things. Versal, Netlify, whatever, just get your projects online. Trust me, the first time you hit deploy and your site actually appears on a real URL, that's your developer dopamine right there. Now let's talk about the traps, because there are many. The first is tutorial hell. If you're watching your 10th crash course and still haven't written your own code, you're stuck. Break out of it by making something on your own, even if it sucks. The second trap, comparing yourself to devs on Twitter. Please don't. Those people have been building since jQuery was cool and will make you feel like a fraud for not knowing how to build an AI-powered weather app that runs on the blockchain. Focus on your own pace. Nobody's hiring you for your hot takes on TypeScript. Another pitfall, chasing shiny tools. Every month, the dev world collectively decides a new stack is the future. Don't fall for it. Learn your basics, get comfortable, and upgrade your tools when your projects actually need it. And please, design is part of web dev. You don't need to be Picasso, but at least learn spacing, contrast, and how not to burn your user's retinas with neon green on purple. My eye! Once you've got a couple of small projects under your belt and you're not terrified of opening your code editor, the next step is consistency. Code every day? Great. Code three days a week? Also great. Just be regular. This is a skill game. You get better by doing, not by reading Medium articles about it. And finally, here's the most important truth. Everyone starts out confused. Everyone has copy-pasted code without knowing how it works. Everyone has built a button that refused to center. Web dev is learnable. You're not late. You're not behind. You just need to start, build bad things, and slowly make them better. That's the whole game. Oh, and if you don't want your code to look like it was written by pirate software, Bruh. you need to check out boot.dev, the sponsor of today's video. Boot.dev teaches you back-end development the smart way, by making sure you're never bored. You learn by actually writing code, not just watching someone else type it on a video. They've got dozens of hands-on lessons and projects that help you learn by actually building cool stuff. You can make a maze solver in Python or even a Pokedex in Go. Heck, they'll even teach you how to land a programming job, which I'm still not convinced actually exists. Oh, and did I mention? There's XP, levels, quests, loot. It's basically an RPG, but with fewer swords and way more SQL. And if you ever get stuck, their AI bear Boots pops in with the Socratic method to guide you, instead of just dumping answers on you like it's ChatGPT with no context. You can explore every course for free, but the real magic, interactive lessons, code help, and progress tracking unlocks with membership. So if you want to try it out, head to boot.dev and use my code CODEHEAD for 25% off your first year. That's CODEHEAD at boot.dev, links in the description. Thank you for sitting through yet another tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow CODEHEAD.